what happens if we keep on adding 2 to itself this is 2 this is 2 added twice this is 2 added 3 times and so on and this is 2 added 10 times we know that this can be written as 2 into 1 2 into 2 2 into 3 and 2 into 10 so similarly 2 added 50 times can be written as 2 into 50 and 2 added to itself 100 times can be written as 2 into 100 and we know that this operation is multiplication so multiplication denotes repeated addition but what happens if we keep on multiplying 2 to itself this is 2 2 multiplied twice 2 multiplied 3 times this is 2 multiplied 10 times now imagine how much time and space will be required if we want to multiply 2 50 times or say 100 times and it would also create a lot of confusion so mathematicians came up with a shorthand notation for such large numbers so 2 multiplied with itself 3 times is written in this manner that is 2 and 3 is written as a superscript of 2 similarly 2 multiplied to itself 50 times is written in this manner that is 50 is written as a superscript of 2 2 multiplied to itself 100 times is written in this manner 100 is written as a superscript of 2 and such numbers are called exponential numbers so exponential denotes repeated multiplication just like multiplication denotes repeated addition exponentials denote repeated multiplication so this is an exponential number now in this case we see that the number being multiplied is 2 2 is being multiplied so this number which is being multiplied with itself is called base so 2 is the base here and how many times is 2 being multiplied 1 2 3 2 is being multiplied 3 times so this 3 this 3 is called the exponent or the index or power exponent index or power so 2 that is the number which is being multiplied is called the base and the number of times it is being multiplied is called the exponent index or power so this is another exponential number 3 is the base here 4 is the exponent remember that this is not 3 into 4 this is not 3 into 4 this is 3 multiplied four times so three multiplied with itself four times we read it as three to the power four three to the power four or three raised to the power four or three to the fourth power so we can read it in any manner we want three to the power four three raised to the power four or 3 to the 4th power so now can you find this well this is 8 to the power 2 8 is the base here so 8 is the number which is being multiplied and how many times it is multiplied it is multiplied 2 times so this is 8 into 8 8 multiplied 2 times and 8 into 8 is 64 so this 
is equal to 64. So in general, any number A multiplied n times can be written as A to the power n. A is the base, n is the exponent. So A to the power n denotes A being multiplied n times and we read it as a to the power n, a raised to the power n or a to the nth power. We can read it in any manner as we want. So can you represent this in exponential form? Well, we see that 5 is being multiplied. So first thing is 5 is the base. Next thing is that we need to find the exponent. Exponent will be the number of times 5 is multiplied. So let us see how many number of times is 5 multiplied. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 5 is multiplied 7 times. So this is 5 to the power 7 or 5 raised to the power 7. This is the correct representation of this number. Now you might be wondering what is the use of exponents. Consider the mass of sun. The sun has a mass of these many kgs. Now imagine how difficult it would be for scientists to read, write and moreover remember such huge numbers. Wouldn't it be convenient for them if they represent it like this? Well, this is 1988 into this huge number. And this huge number is 10 multiplied by itself 27 times. 10 multiplied by itself 27 times can be written as 10 to the power 27. And we have 1988 from here. So the mass of sun, which is this huge number, can be represented in a short form using exponents like this. 1988 into 10 to the power 27 kgs. For instance, a light year, which is the distance light travels in one year, is 9461000000000000 meters. Now wouldn't it be better if I tell you that it is 9461 into 10 to the power 12 meters? Yes, it is much more convenient. And that is why exponents were introduced. So do not confuse exponential numbers with multiplication. With exponents, the numbers increase much faster as you can see here. And now, let me tell you an interesting story. There's a famous legend about the origin of chess. When the inventor of the game showed it to an emperor in India, the emperor was very impressed by the new game. He told the man to ask him for some reward. What the man had asked was some grains of rice. He said that one grain of rice be placed on the first square of the chessboard, two grains on the next square, four on the next, eight on the next, and so on for all 64 squares. With each square having double the number of grains as the square before. The emperor was amazed at the modest demand of the man and immediately agreed. And what happened next is astonishing. By the time the 17th square was reached, the table was filled up. By the 26th square, the entire room was full of rice. And when 42 squares were accounted for, the entire palace was filled with rice. In fact, 
the reward would add up to an astronomical sum far greater than all the rice that could conceivably be produced in many many centuries such is the magic of exponentials